The option group is a feature or field you can add to your form, wherein you add a list of options. For example, I have clients here I'd like to add a list of options of how they're going to pay for their order, like cash, COD, company charge, or credit card. But before I add the group of those four options, I want to have a field that I can store the values for each option, like cash can be value 1, COD number 2, company charge 3, and credit card 4. So later, if I need to find out if the company purchased with cash, then we'll have the value saved here. So, to store the value, it's got to be a field in a table. So what table is this form based upon? So, you know, we can identify it and see if there's a field that we can use to store the number, or at least add one. To find out, come with me, good neighbor. Let's right-click in a blank area, go to the design view, and to bring up the property sheet for the entire form, just go ahead and find a gray area here and double-click. There you go, property sheet for the form. On the All tab, we're looking at the record source. Begins with a Q. It's a query. Q select new customer. And that's right over here. So it's not based upon a table directly. It's indirectly through the queries. So to find out what table or tables this query is based upon, let's give it a right click, go to the design view, and let's close out of the property sheet. And it's based upon these two, customers and billing info tables. So is there a field that we can go ahead and use? Well, yes, because I created the payment field specifically for this training video. So we're good to go. Otherwise, you'd have to open up the billing info table, create a field, call it what you want. I called it payment. And then set the data type for numbers so we can store the values for the option group that we're about to add to our form. And so there's the payment. And I added it down below in the grid so I can pull it up in the form. Cool. Let's go ahead and close out. And then to add it, come up here, click on the Design tab, go to the Controls group, click on More, and it's right there, X, Y, Z. You can either choose X or Y or Z. You can't choose X and Y, it's an either or. Let's go ahead and click on it and come down below. You get a plus sign that when you click, that means to add. So we're adding our option group. Click. Opens up the group wizard where it's going to ask us a bunch of questions based upon our answers. Well, we'll get the options that we want. First off, what labels do you want for each option? Well, let's go ahead and just start typing cash. Hit the tab key. And for the last one, just hit the tab key so it gets rid of the pencil, saves it, and go ahead and click Next. It says, do you want one option to be the default choice? So, you know, when you create a new record, do you want it to default to what most people pay with? Maybe credit card? Okie dokie. Click Next. And then what value do you want to assign to each group? Well, it defaults it to 1, 2, 3, 4. That's fine. You can change it and, you know, type in a, a gazillion here, but I'm going to keep it simple and leave it as is and click Next. And then what do you want to do with the value of a selected option? Do you want to save it for later or do you want to store it? Well, I'd like to see it later on and have it stored. So there's the option that when you select it, it takes the value and stores it into your table. So what field are we going to store this value in? Let's go ahead and select it. Click on the drop down arrow. Do you remember? I do. Payment. There we go. Click next. Ooh, we get some fancy style choices. Well, we can have it as options, radio dials, or check boxes. Now keep in mind that when you choose check boxes, it doesn't mean that you can choose two or more. It's still going to limit you to just one or the other. So let's get that out of our heads and go ahead and choose the other one. See what it looks like. Ooh, toggle buttons. That's fancy. And let's go back to options. Which style would you like to use? Etched. Just take a look at the preview here. Do you want something flat? No, it's too flat. Sunken. Ooh, that's sunken deep. And click next. And then what caption do you want for the option group? Let's do payment method. Hit the enter key on the keyboard. And let's see what it looks like in the form view. Right click. Go to form. There you go. It's sunken and it's got the caption payment method. And it's defaulted to credit card, but that's funny. It shouldn't have a value stored unless, in my billing info table, let me scroll over. Do I already have values there in the payment field? I do. So, because it has a value, it's not going to be empty. Like if I go ahead and I delete that, and I click off so it saves it so there's nothing there. I come back here. Is there anything selected there? No, it updates it. Cool. So if I go ahead and select credit card, and there's the pencil, so i got to save it. Hold down the shift key and hit enter. And I go back to my billing info table. The value has been set back to 4. So 4 is for credit card. 
So what you do on one updates the other. Let's go back here and let's go to number two, which is cash, and number three, cash. So those are the same numbers. One, one, three. What's that? Let's go ahead and go back and go to three and it's company charge. Well, one, two, three, four, right? And so when I come down below and click on create a new record, there's the default credit card. Type in whatever you want. And if they're like, no, nah, we're paying with cash, no big deal. Just select that when you save your record. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key and get out of that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.